Alright, yo, what's good, guys? Um, so I'm back with another video today. This is something a little bit different because I haven't uploaded Deep Woken in a minute, but Type Soul is just dry and it honestly is probably gonna die soon. So I want to talk about something that I saw in suggestions today, and this is probably like the most downvoted suggestion that I've ever seen. And I kind of want to play devil's advocate for this suggestion, but before like I actually say anything, I do want to show you all the suggestion and I do want to clarify that I don't actually agree with it. But I just want to show y'all that uh, like essentially like where he's coming from and what he's trying to say. So uh, yeah. Alright, so the suggestion was from Real Nick. He's a dupe <laughs> he's a devoking YouTuber and a Lancelot officer. Um so essentially what he suggested was that uh dual attunement builds get removed. Y'all can pause it if you want to read it, but I'll just summarize it real quick. He was just complaining about how people can get like really good mantras from multiple attunements and just make a really busted build. Um, the argument against this obviously is that, you know, it's just not going to be leveled up, but for certain monsters like Flame Whist, you just don't need that at all. Like, I have a meta build that my friend gave me, and I'm making a progression video on it soon, and, uh, you know, stay tuned for that, but like, um, what's it called? Like, that build's going 70 light, and like, 70 ice draw, and it's still going to do a lot of damage, and it's going to be like a mage build. So you don't need, like, necessarily the best stats to get a good build. And do a lot of damage and be really meta but essentially the reason why i wanted to make this video was because i'm pretty sure a lot of people are unaware of how good low investment talents are or not talents like mantras but even talents too because i know some people go the shadow dodge talent like i forget what it's called but it's like 60 to 70 shadow that talent is really good and really meta and a lot of people go flame whisk with their builds a lot of people go um jolt grab with their builds as you all know and people even used to go um gale lunge with their builds but none of that was an issue but there are some stuff that's a lot better than others and i'm gonna go over them right now i'll just go over the main ones the first one that i have to mention is rising shadow essentially what people use this module for is it stuns their enemy like it slams them onto the ground which causes them to be dazed it's similar to like bulldozer but not to the same extent and this lets you get easy combos off it's really good with stuff like crystallization another shadow thing you can use is rising uh, or not rising shadow my fault um like the shadow kick move if you put like a spark on it uh i forget which spark it is but you know you guys can find a youtube video on that if you're interested in using it but essentially what happens is you kick them with the first part of the move and then they get stunned and it messes up their parry timing i saw a youtube video on this and i'll have the link in the description on it as well if y'all want to check that out another mantra that's more obvious is like flame was and i'm pretty sure people are using the ice cubes mantra now too and like some ice monsters as well like ice daggers i've seen before but you know a lot of these are less prevalent i know rising shadow is definitely one of the most prevalent ones to see in builds like this i can't end this off without talking about talents that people get so the first talent that i'm going to be talking about is actually um i think it's dark rift which is the shadow dodge talent and essentially this is just a really good dodge and uh i think it's like 60 shadow i'm not sure i don't think it has an agility requirement either and it's really useful uh i used to use this when i used to main shadow i haven't played it in a while but you know i do remember it being hella useful and another talent which is also shadow is actually um blood shadow and this is still like meta somewhat like all of these are still somewhat meta low-key like dark rift is still meta but anyways blood shadow essentially steals your enemy's hp and gives it to you you have to hit them with uh your reinforce and basically you just drain their hp um, this used to be like meta a long time ago and I remember Supa made like a video about it or, Like there was a controversy about him like scamming a wager or some shit, but that was a very long time ago uh, anyways Um a lot of time shine players used to abuse this um, Honestly, yeah, there's not much else to say low-key. <laughs> it's just a really good card There's a lot of stuff that I did not talk about like uh, lightning click which used to be used by a lot of top charms players as well other than that though Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And my bad if I sound weird. Like my mouth is very dry right now. I'm sick. But uh, yeah. Also thanks to my friends Trendy, Turtle, and Lysander for the clips. And other than that, goodbye.